Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a flag pattern on crude oil. Just got filled short, 47.60 is the short entry. We're in three contracts, primarily just because the stop size isn't that big. Uh, 47.60, our stop is going to be up at 18 ticks. Our first target, taking two contracts off there, looking at 17. So pretty much one-to-one -one for that first target. If we can get that leg down, then we'll be looking to fill that second target down at 47.08. That'll be 52 ticks. Uh, so relatively nice potential move lower here. I just need to see it kind of follow through. Now, the way that this flag kind of set up, you can see it's a little bit sort of funky, right? It, I mean, the flag is relatively clear. You know, you got that nice push down, flagged out to the upside, and it broke down. The problem, there's not really a good entry area. Yeah, we entered where you could have entered before, but we had to limit into the trade. Uh, there's just really no other way to get into that trade with any kind of rate of consistency. You can see there's no real swing low until all the way down here. And you don't want to be selling down there to go for, what, a five tick target at that point? Uh, it's not really worthwhile at that point in time. So we limited in where it came into a one-to-one -one risk reward, uh, and now we're just looking to go right back down again. You can see you could have actually limited in quite a bit higher almost up for a retest of that flag. Uh, now, depending on how you drew your flag, that might that might have been in the retest right there. Uh, so definitely a lot of options to hop into the sell side. We just need to see a little bit more follow through now. Uh, see if we can get that first target down there. I don't know why I deleted those, but our entry 4760 down to the first target, taking two off at 17, and then looking for that final runner all the way down here, 4708 for 52. Uh, so if we can get that push down, it'll look really nice. Uh, just need to see a little bit more confirmation. We're looking good so far. Nice little limit back, uh, really about the only way you could have entered that conservatively. Aggressively, uh, you would have been short, honestly, pretty much the same place, just selling right underneath that little red candle, underneath that green candle somewhere in there. Uh, but we'll give it a little bit of time and see if it can push down and start hitting those targets. All right. Wow. Uh, <laughs> um, just got slapped lower. Let me get my stop in place here. That was a really volatile move. Uh, stop to break even plus one. Actually, because of the volatility of that candle, I'm going to go a couple ticks just ahead of that one. Um, so we got filled with a little bit of slippage. There must not have been enough buyers there at 47.42. So from our entry, instead of taking it off at 17, we actually got filled all the way down there at 22. Nice entry, or at least a, a nice fill for that leg down. Definitely puts us a little bit better than our risk reward, but um, just a big, big block of, of selling pressure coming in here. So looking good to the downside, um, but I really need to see this continue now. After that block selling that just came in, it, it, it's kind of a, a, a touch and go sort of situation where, you know, if you get a lot of selling pressure coming in and a lot of people try to chase it, then you can get a nice continuing move lower and we should be able to fill that target down here at 4708 without much hassle at all. However, uh, today doesn't look like it's got that much of a trend, right? I mean, we're just kind of sideways. We're just kind of breaking out of the lows of that sideways range. And if that is the case, then it wouldn't be a surprise to see this come right back up. So in a way, it's almost nice to get that little bit of a slide off to get a better uh, a better fill down there at 22. Uh, two contracts off there gives us 44 now. So we're already at what we like to get out of a trade. The rest is just kind of icing on the cake. Now, hopefully that icing is a little bit sweeter <laughs> uh, and it falls down and hits that 47.08. Now, you could be conservative based on the volume that we're seeing right now. You could be a little bit conservative and go up to like 47.10, front run that 100% level by a couple ticks. You know, that's still not bad. It's still a 50 tick runner, but that way, you know, you're ahead of that 100%, all the folks that are selling this, trying to go down to that 100% extension, you're not going to get stuck down there uh, and not getting a fill. So front running it a little bit at 47.10. Uh, overall, we've got two contracts filled at 22. Beautiful little fill down there. Uh, so 44 ticks so far, looking for a final fill a little bit lower down for 50 more ticks if we can get it hit. So we'll be back in a little bit and uh, see if they can slide it off a little bit more and really expand the sideways range that we're in right now. All right. Perfect, and we just got that final target filled. What a beautiful flag pattern short. You can't ask for a better setup than this. They, they typically don't set up just this pretty. I mean, they, it just looked really, really nice. The only problem that we ran into was just the simple fact that there wasn't really a good entry area, right? I mean, the, if you were aggressive, yeah, you could have easily sold underneath that red candle or underneath that green candle, but you don't know it's going to break down there. That it could You could have tried it there, too, and it would have just stopped you right out. So not really a good entry 
entry area, and this is a good example of kind of discretionary entering, right? It, it broke down, you wait for that breakdown to happen, and you just sell it on a pullback, right? You sell it on that little bit of a retrace coming back. You could have gotten filled all the way up to, let's see, that high was at 47.67, so you got to get filled all the way up to 47.66. You got a lot of options back there. Uh, I just took it where it was a one-to-one, -one, so 47.60, uh, nice little entry short there, and just rocketed right back to the downside. Got a couple really nice slip fills on it on the way down. Uh, 47.42 was the initial target, got filled at 47.38. Uh, second target, we were trying to front run that 47.07 by a little bit, got filled at 47.08. Uh, so some pretty nice drops right there. Uh, final target was 52 ticks plus another 44. That gives us 96 ticks on the trade. Uh, definitely not bad at all. So that's going to be the trade for today. Uh, 960 bucks in the bag, and we'll call it there. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.